Smooth Benson Henderson! And his opponent across the mat, out of the red corner, at six feet even, an ADCC world champion, two-time world jiu-jitsu champion, two-time UFC world title challenger from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Here is Damian Maia! Benson got a... I think Benson might still have a ring, ring on. on. <laughs> I mean, the real question is, is where is the toothpick? I think he stopped using that after. Really? Yeah, I think, after he got choked and uh, he got a little bit worried. Are you serious? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow, fair play. Yeah. I might be wrong about that. I'm I still, sure I don't 100% believe you. I think there's a good chance we can... It, I mean, it could point. just pop out at some point. I, I think mean, his, his wife got scared or his kids got scared or something like that. So I mean, it is, it is a severe a safety scary. hazard. Yeah. Benson has started off fast. Yeah. You know, I mean, you look at the size of his quads. That dude is an explosive guy. Yeah, he is. And we've we've seen this before. We've seen it on the Polaris stage. How explosive, how fast, how, how dynamic it is. And Damien's more of a slow grind. And I but, think. Yeah. If you watch Damien, he's just slowly shutting him down. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, it, it, it's a huge difference between uh, MMA and and grappling. What there we go, grapple here. Got very interesting. In, in MMA, you don't have the option of starting slow because someone's trying to punch and kick you yeah. in the head. In grappling, you can really take your time. And in one 20-minute round, I mean, you've got to think Benson's probably, if he thinks he's going to get a submission here, he's going to come out the gate hard. He's going to put him on his back. He's going to, you know, he's got to be really aggressive with it. Damien is going to be more than happy to shut this down and just be nasty, slow, take his time, and find that sub whenever it comes. Yeah, I mean, he's using that body triangle now, trying to sit up towards, like, a, it looks like a hip bump, potentially. You're not going to hit bump with a the body triangle, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, an interesting option. He might try to wrap the neck, I guess, from here. I mean, anything that Damien Maia does, I can't yeah, say. Yeah, I'm sure he's figured out I'm something. I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. Or he could just be trying to squash Benson and make him carry his weight. You know, Maybe. that's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, could be. There's also a really nice triangle set up here if he can get Benson's weight moving backwards a little bit and have him post a little bit further behind him. Uh, with the hip bump? Yeah. Yeah, or he, I mean, he might be just trying to sneak around that elbow too and like climb towards. I mean, the elbow is in front. The elbow is in yeah, front. Yeah, but it's slowly getting less. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It's, 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 it's. It, Damien has already got that arm where he wants it to be, and he's very slowly yeah. maneuvering around it. You can see Benson's just there, like, this doesn't feel good. Yeah, and this the is way not where I want to be going. He's framing that, on the hip. Yeah, the way that Benson's arm's trapped is like kind of stuck there. I doubt he can pull that out from between, um, you know, where where Damien. Uh, Look, yeah, Damien's arm is. Oh, okay, he gives up in it. I mean, it was a really interesting, intricate, yeah. but very interesting position there. I mean, we, we've spoken about this. I think if Damien's going to get the sub, it's very likely it's going to come from the back, right? When yeah. someone, when you have someone who is so explosive, so dynamic, you've got to shut them down. And the back is the best position to shut some down. Obviously, Damien has one of the best back attacks in the game. Yeah. This could be a good tactic just to slow Benson down a little bit as well. People tend to be quite explosive for the first, well, kind of not explosive, but like kind of energetic for the first minute or two of a match. Putting someone in close guard with a body triangle, they are not going to be very energetic. You know, they're not going to be running around. I feel like no matter who you fight, they feel like the strongest person you've ever fought for the That's first true. minute. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. I always say to my students, I say, uh, they may feel like the strongest person you've ever felt, but they're also thinking, yeah. thinking the same thing about you. It's just that, you know, when you've got that adrenaline going and everything's heightened, that awareness is heightened, also you're able to generate more power than you usually can. And yeah, and Maya's going back on this that's elbow again. He's position. looked like he's trying to climb around towards the back. It's an interesting tactic. I mean, that's got to be, if, if you pull guard on someone, you go into a body triangle, well, what other options are there, right? Yeah, oh, now he's on like a crooked elbow. Uh, like a mirror lock. Yeah. And that looks, that's good. You and, know? Um, that's and got a good bend in and it. And also, what he might be doing is he wants Benson to rip that arm out. And if he rips it out too far, it's going to be straight into a triangle. Or if he tries to turn it back the opposite way too hard, he's going to get in that armbar. It looks like Benson's, I mean, he's got good posture here. I mean, very cool and composed is uh, Henderson. They like, don't call him smooth for nothing, right? There you go. So this Polaris is sponsored by BJJ Summer Week, the biggest Brazilian jiu-jitsu camp in the world. Spend your vacation in the beautiful Sardinia. Learn more about it at bjjsummerweek.com. Yeah, we're seeing Damien again looking to hip bump. Interesting, he's hip bumping into this sort of tight, slow pass to the back position. 
You know, I wonder, you know, whereas when we talk about stalling calls in those five minute matches that we have in the squads, it's unlikely that it's ever going to happen. We have the longest match we've ever had on Polaris at 20 minutes. It, it, it's very possible that there could be some stalling calls. Our referee, Oli Geddes, is definitely going to be having a very close look on what's going on. And, you know, Maya's now like reaching around the back. Looks like he's trying to grab onto his own leg. Like, I mean, again, it looks like he's trying to beat that elbow to climb around. Oh, he's definitely trying to climb around. Beautiful. And now he might go Such to an arm again. Yeah. He is definitely looking for the back. He's using yeah. that like waiter position. He tried to pass the arm over the body. So I'm assuming that we are still using the uh, three yeah. rounds, but obviously over the 20 minutes. I'll do the maths there. I'm going to go with six something or other. <laughs> Charles? Yeah, it would be six something. It's a third of 20. Six. 20? It is 620, right? No. 640. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Damien is, uh, is really playing the long game here. He's happy to use that entire 20 minutes. Um, and just break his opponent down. But the problem is, is Benson's output is very low at the moment in terms of his energy. He's not expending that much. He's not having to expend a huge amount. Um, obviously, he's not able to really do much when someone has that tight, close guard position on you. So... I'm not sure this is the posture I would adopt in the in this kind of situation. Well, I'm guessing... Arms stretched. Yeah, I'm just guessing that he wants uh, Damien to open those legs. He, he, he doesn't want to be stuck inside this closed guard, and he definitely doesn't want to be stuck inside a body-locked closed guard position. He doesn't want to be here. I think he might even be hoping that they're going to get a stand-up or something. Yeah, I mean, if he is doing... You know, he is trying to put pressure against those ankles of Damien. I think that's what his goal is, to, to not allow him to get to the tight body lock. Yeah. And, and you know, you could make a good argument for a stand-up. I think if yeah. this continues on, we do... You know, we want to let these guys work, but we yeah. also want to have some action. You know? I mean, certainly right now, where where Maya's not able to get around that arm in the same way and sit up into that position. Maya temporarily opened up the guard, looking to jump over the arm to a triangle. There we go. And, and, and no, I, I think that's the right call. I think that we... That was right on... That was precise the first fire. Exactly. And, you know, no, no doubt that Maya won that. Because, yeah. I mean, he was in control. I'm surprised that uh, Benson and I would hope to, like, keep hold of that ankle. I feel like he was surprised he grabbed it. I mean, I... Maya's such a difficult puzzle yeah. enigma to, to to face isn't he because okay guillotine tight on that head yeah. very very strong position here he's switching connecting the hands he's switching yeah. out to the back and this is what we were expecting the back take from damian meyer somewhere that nobody wants to be on the receiving end of and this is just such a tight squeeze that he has from this position yeah. see him slowly stretching out the hip he's going to look to put his right leg over yeah there it is there goes. Switch to a body triangle. There yeah. it is. Turn into the opposite side. This is just absolutely textbook. I mean, imagine having Damien Meyer on your back oh, in a body triangle oh, no. for 12 minutes. And going face down with I that mean, as well. That's just savage. That neck crank is a really good way to turn the head and start to yep. take the yeah. back. Now this is just going to be about grip, fighting, control. We could potentially see an isolation of one of those arms, but, you know, Damien Meyer is just an absolute master from this position. And yeah. you've got to be thinking it's going to come. It's not necessarily a, a matter of when it's a, or if. It's only a matter of when. But, I mean, Benson doing the right thing, try, pummeling on underneath with that ankle, with that foot, trying to release that body triangle. Yeah, I mean, he's got that, that body triangle it's a good position. the leg. Yeah, he now needs to... I mean, what a statement it would be if Benson could find himself in such a bad position and escape with yeah. one of the best to ever have done it. Yeah, I mean, Benson's doing a great job of hand fighting. I saw him holding onto the fingers of Maya earlier, preventing him to get into a droop, uh, grip. Oh, he's he's, he's just yeah. cranking on that here. face. But you can also see that Maya's not oh. trying that hard. I don't know about that. Oh, okay, this that hand's coming up. That hand looked like it was coming up for a second, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, I might have been imagining things, but I think... Benson there thought for a second there. Benson doing a great job of keeping that defense and starting to change the angle slightly. Yeah. He's in a better position now for sure. It looks like he's switched to the Kimura trap, or he's switching back and forth between the wrist control and the yeah. Kimura trap here. 
I'd really love to see uh, Damien try and isolate one of these arms with a leg. And then we, and you can see that the, yeah, the arm is low. I don't right? think that's his game. Though. Is that not his game? No. I even, mean, I'm pretty sure when he got to the back, because like he, he was very consistently in this position in the UFC. Yeah, but it's slightly different because the ability of the grip fight has changed when you don't have the gloves on. I mean, people, yeah. don't, people don't respect how difficult it is to control things and how difficult it is to grapple with gloves yeah, on. Yeah. If you haven't done it before, it's really, really hard. So when you have a guy who's so skilled and, and so successful grappling in MMA, you don't appreciate, actually, that's them at almost disadvantage. Him without gloves now, I mean, there's definitely going to be a lot more options and a lot more control. Yeah. But again, Benson's doing a great job. He just can't quite figure out how to, you know, he's either killing the legs or he's killing the grips, but he can't get them both done at the same time. Well, I think that's a testament to how good Maya's yeah. back control is. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, still 10 minutes, over 10 minutes left in this match. I mean, that's an insanely long time to have yeah. Damien Maher on your back. Yeah. You know, even just defending this amount of time is tiring on your grips. And, and, and the problem with this really is Damien is just waiting for a mistake. Yep. Benson's just going to have to be absolutely impeccable with everything that he does for the next 10 minutes. Assuming that he stays in this position for 10 minutes. I mean, he another another, face another crank on the face there. Yeah, I mean, Ben's doing a great job of, like, bringing that hand up. This one's just really tight. Inside. This one's miserable, though. That is just... I mean, every one of them's miserable. <sighs> yeah. I mean, also, we have to say, do you think there's much in the way of fatigue having someone's back for that long? Yes, absolutely. You know, it isn't like, if he's punching towards those chokes, he's going to be tired. I mean, oh. especially with the, the body triangle, it, it's, it's an anatomically really powerful position, but it does take, you know, it does yeah. wear on you a little bit, right? Yeah, I think the, 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 the thing is Maya has been doing this for such a long yeah. time. This is Maya's game, right? Regardless of whether it was ADCC, UFC, you know, like he was in this position grinding on people's necks. Yeah. And like, even when he was in body locks, he's going to have that squeeze and it's going to be like there for a long time, you know? Mm. Yeah, and the I think squeeze a, is something that goes, is the last thing to go. I think there's a degree of adaptability in the body. And once you start doing something for years and years and years, you really, you don't fatigue in the no. same way that a, a normal person would. Yeah, you've got to imagine that at this point, Damien Meyer's body is designed to crush people from the back, right? Yeah. I remember uh, hanging out with um, Higgin Machado and he had like a wall of muscle built up in his arm, mm. like a little block here, and it was just from gripping so much for the whole life. Wow. Very, very strange. Also, his neck, same thing about his neck, just like a solid lump of muscle that he could flex. Very uh, weird. I <laughs> mean, he might want to get that looked at. <laughs> yeah. So kind of more of the same here from, uh, you know, Damien just trying that. And just Benson, you've got to... Hand it to Benson. Benson's doing a great job of... Yeah, he is. I mean, if you had told me earlier today that Maya was going to take the back and be there for this amount of time, I wouldn't have believed you. I mean, this is basically the entire second period. You yeah. Know, he's been there. I'm sure Maya's not going to be happy unless he gets that choke. You know, to spend what will be like, wait, if, it, if it does go that distance, 14 minutes, 13 minutes on the back. Wow. Yeah. It's sort of insane to even say. I know, right? Especially when we've come from these five-minute rounds. Know, it's bizarre. I mean, the juxtaposition between the 20-minute and the five minutes. You know what? It's actually quite nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like my brain can think a little bit. Oh, he, he, he's gone belly down here. I mean, he's still just, it's still just on the face, though. Still just cranking yeah. the face. And the problem is, Benson's tough. Yeah, I do, like, oh, yeah he is. Benson, I mean, I'm pretty sure he went to sleep in his last Polaris performance. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Was that against Wagner? I honestly, I can't remember. Maybe between you and me, Tom, we've we've watched and called a lot of yeah. Lara's matches. What's really interesting with this as well is is that Benson's doing everything right with the legs and 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 the body positioning and trying to kind of change the angle, and Damien's just able to just do a little movement in the hips and then be perfectly locked in once again. I mean, the, the, the changes are so small and so well-timed. Um, it's, it, it's, it's a pleasure to see, but again, not able to break down the defense. Yeah. Well, so far anyway, we have six and a half minutes left. Yeah, it was, it was against uh, Wagner Hosher. Yeah, yeah. Way, way back. Uh, let me see, Polaris. 20, 2019. Yeah, that's not that long ago, is it? No, not that long ago. <laughs> I 
I mean, at this point, I mean, you can't stand him up from here. No. You? you just can't. Well, you no, can't stand up off the back. You can't stand up off of the back. I mean, you kind of, as, as a spectator, you almost want to. But really, you can't do it. Oh, yeah. We're, we have these uh, things in the crowd today, which are like kind of fan rattle things. I'm, I'm hoping they're going to start coming out in a little bit and start pumping them up. the guys, yeah. Some guys have figured out how to use them. Some are going to use them like signs. I mean, what else can, can Damien be looking to do? Apart from, you know, in my opinion, if I was him, I'd be looking to isolate one of those arms. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's a risk to it. Like, he does have to open yes. up that body. Especially triangle. with someone as dynamic as Benson. If Benson sees any space here, he's going to be exploding out of it. But yeah. still, I mean, may maybe if, if he stays in this position for another couple of minutes, there's a few minutes left on the clock. At this point, I mean, to be honest, at this point, there's, I don't think there's any way that Benson can win a decision. You've, no. got, to, you've got to assume that the first two rounds have, yeah. gone, to, uh, have gone to Damien. So I think at this point... Go for it. Why not? What are you going to lose? You're going to lose the position and, and you know, yeah, and, I mean, nothing negative is going to come from it. He, he took the back pretty, well, it wasn't easily, but it was very smoothly. Yep. Uh, yeah, try it out. I'm not oh, even sure. He's trying to stretch the yeah, spine like a, here. I mean, he couldn't I mean, pick a worse person to do it on. You imagine Benson's uh, flexibility. He's not yeah. going to be feeling that at all. Yeah, there's some amazing pictures of Benson. And, like and look, look, look at the face. Look at the face of Damien Meyer. You can't see it on the monitor, but I can see it from here. Yeah, he's really I mean, trying. He was, I mean, grimacing with the amount of uh, pressure that he's putting in there. And Benson is not. That was the Benson's thing, chilled. Yeah. You know, the, the output. He's a tough guy. The output is very much in the uh, um, is, is, is in the way of Damien Meyer, who's who's doing all the work here, yeah. and Benson kind of just chilling and doing everything, just enough to to defend. I think another option he has here is looking at maybe a head and arm choke from the mouth. Yeah. yeah. Damien, uh, if Benson keeps trying to Okay, it looks like he's separated mat. that foot from the body trying. Yeah, this is massive. I, I'm and he's getting his hips over. This is mate, it's great for Benson. Yeah, let's see if Damien decides to... He's now a bit, he is trapping up that arm as we talked about. Yeah, but he's lost, he he's, he's lost the angle. Here. I mean, from this, at this point, he, he has to decide whether he's going to continue to try and fight back for the back, which looks like is what he's going to do, or he could come off of the back position yeah. into something like a mount, into uh, I mean, side control. If he can create the scramble, you know, and retake the back and start setting those hands as he's going to the back, he might have a better option than just being in this static position where all Benson's really thinking about is defend the hands, like here. Yeah, but he, he's only come off with the intention of getting straight back onto the back. Exactly. So create that movement to then exploit the neck. And actually, this is a better position for Meyer. You see Benson's hands are on the ground. I mean, if he can flatten is. him out from here, then that's huge. If he can, Because yeah. if you can flatten someone out from, this, uh, from the two-hook position here, you can take away their ability to use the arms, free up two of your arms, and just fight, just pummel under with the arms onto the neck. <laughs> Benson doing some squats. Yeah, nice. I mean, you, you, don't, you don't build quads and calves like that without doing some training, right? Yeah. But this is a much worse position to try and defend because you have no ability to move the hips. So Benson deciding he's going to use all of his available resources to continue to squat, I'm trying to get a workout out of this. But He's getting his spine Oh, God. Started. I mean, I feel like that was Maya's own fault for, for like pulling up on Benson's head. Oh, yeah, he it did that. effective to get him to the he ground. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that we're going to, that this is very likely going to be the, the, the entire rest of the match. You know, it's certainly a, a unanimous decision in the favor of Damian Meyer. But, you know, Benson, if I was Benson, I'd be taking that. You've got to be thinking Benson's going to feel that's a win for yeah, him, yeah. right? I mean, that's to go against Damian Meyer, to have his, even obviously he didn't want to have his back taken, but to have his back taken and be able to survive. Here, okay, isolation yeah. of the arm. This is really he it, needs to, to get, get the big advantage. Elbow. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, Benson's defended it. He could go for the footlock here. <laughs> could you imagine? That would be, a, could you be imagine? amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Again, he's trying to attack that arm. Yeah, Benson, uh, Damien really trying to isolate that. And, you know, he's still got, I know we've been in this position for a crazy amount of time, but he's still got two minutes to work. I, I think this is a good, like, you know, let Benson out, start to re-escape, go again. You know, two minutes left, open up a little bit. Yep. You know, leave the fans happy. Benson coming up on a single. And he's got to watch out for that guillotine or yeah. Yeah. Goss or Anaconda, those long, strong arms. Nice little... Uh, he's on that head, though. He's head. on that neck again. Oh, he's on the choke, but Benson is such a tough guy. Oh, high elbow guillotine, but he's passed. He's using it to sweep. Oh. Trying to get on top, but Benson just a little bit more explosive there in top position. Go back into guard, Benson. Nice. He's straight into that knee slide position. I mean, he almost looks in a... Position. I was just about to say that. Oh, I, sh I wish he'd kept that. 
going on the neck, has a minute to work, has the high elbow. The hands, oh the hands don't oh. look, no, the hands were not well connected there, unfortunately. But the elbow position was good. One minute left. That's that, that infamous... The infamous <laughs> takedown of AJ <laughs> off of the... Leg, yeah. Luckily, I mean, it'd be very disrespectful to take down a man Meyer, like Damian like, Meyer off the stage, yeah. He does have beautiful shots, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, it is... Almost into the camera. Everybody loves that shot. I mean, there's why not, right? There's flying and then there's flying, right? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of amazing how he kind of floats up in the he air. He does, yeah. Just insane athleticism. Yeah. But I mean, look at the striations in his quads. I mean, it's insane. <laughs> wow. What an amazing match. Right? Wonderful match to go from uh, the squads, the frenetic pace of the squads, this kind of more palate cleansing, like great display of jiu-jitsu. So we're gonna throw it over to Joe. And I think Joe's going to uh, give us the decision. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 20 minutes of action, we go to the judges. And all three score it for your winner by unanimous decision from Sao Paulo, Brazil.